Peace, love, and blessings. Peep this out. <laughs> so bad. I think, I think we were just saying <laughs> that we think that we've actually hit rock bottom. <laughs> We think we've actually hit rock bottom, and I don't think we, I don't think, I think we were either punked, catfished, <laughs> like or... Like it felt like a sick joke. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, literally thinking to myself, like, why am I, like, how did I get here? How did I get here? How yes, bear witness to the nervous laughter of desperation. Rock bottom in its purest form. Desperate times. Calling for desperate measure. Lately, when men over, like... 35 ask me i'll ask my number i just say yeah seriously looking like that your face is shiny as fuck so when men ask you for your number you just say yeah whatever you just give it to them do you do that with cheeks when men ask you for cheeks, do you just freely give the men cheeks? They give that hawk to and spit all that thing. Yeah, I'm so sick of taking care of myself all by myself, bro. Listen, I am 27 with purple hair and purple beads in my hair. You understand? And you're 38 with a graying beard. I know what you want. And I think you know what I want. Look, Nate, before I do this, I want my check. Hey, whoa, 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 look. I'll give it to you. Just be cool about it. You'll give me the cheeks and be cool about it. I'll be cool about it. Afterwards, I, I won't ask you if you want a sandwich. I won't ask you if you want any juice. Look at how you represent yourself. You think a man want to take you seriously when you misrepresent yourself? You not get no check from me until I'm done. You understand? Expensive nowadays. This seems to be a taboo topic in the media. The fact that modern women are willing to do anything to meet a man nowadays. So I went to a singles event and when I got there, it was literally 90% women. And I was like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You went to a singles event looking like that. Whether it's walking around Home Depot aimlessly waiting for a man to help them. Okay, y'all, so word on the street is that if the men's is, is the male's is, 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 is a thing, is at Home Depot. So ladies, let me put you up on game. Stop getting that stuff from Target and start going to Home Depot and pick up those things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, <laughs> you just might get lucky and, 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 my advice to ladies, and this is my advice, simple advice, be yourself, be kind, be presentable, be available. There's nothing wrong with giving a nice man a compliment. I'm trying to, I'm giving you some game for your Bluetooth. Obviously, as a woman would like the men to approach me, but nowadays it hasn't been happening. Feels like the roles have been switched. Yeah, the roles have been switched. Look at how you look. I wouldn't want to approach your ass. I made a post asking where the single men are in Atlanta that are not completely unhinged because I'm new here and this is the majority of the comments that I got. But let's go see if we can find them in the wild. Fit check. Just a little athleisure. Okay, let's go. Maybe they're at the grocery store. Can confirm they're not. It's a ghost town in here. <laughs> All right, so no prospects in there, but there was quite literally no one in there. So I'm keeping hope alive. I did find 
these beautiful flowers though, so the saga continues. They give him that hawk to and spit all that thing. She did get dressed and go out. When it comes to being presentable, and I always throw that, I always lean in with that. Being presentable, being available. <clears throat> Sparking a conversation with a man. Um, giving a man a compliment. Okay? It's okay for you to tell a man, I would like to get to know you. There's nothing wrong with the woman introducing herself. I see it. <clears throat> From what I see on social media, it's something totally different that I see in real time. And what I'm seeing on social media a large number of women ain't about that life. They just doing social media conversation. That's social media talk. Because meeting a woman or talking to a woman in real time, she's not saying half the shit that they're saying on social media. There's simply not enough thirsty men available to feed the never-ending demand for attention. Not enough men to buy overpriced bottles and VIP sections at the club. For women wearing $50 fashion over dresses. Not enough men to swipe right on Bumble and Hench. For women with big butts and bare bellies. Not enough gullible men that are happy to spend $500 on a first date. Plus, there's too many of these damn passport bros that keep spending their money abroad on exotic eights and nines that cook them French toast and poach eggs in the morning. After marathon sex sessions. <laughs> oh, French toast. Oh, excuse me. The nerve of these men. These poor defenseless independent women now have to dress up in provocative attire and aka walk the track of their local grocery store for male attention that they are entitled to. What the hell is going on? Why have so many men become unthirsty? Men are waking up. Men are realizing their worth. Men are embracing self. Men are speaking up and speaking out. Men are sharing with other men. Men are having conversations with each other. They're having conversations at the red table. They're having conversations at the water cooler. They're having conversations on the sideline. They're having conversations in, in the end zone. They're having conversations in the locker room. I hate to say this, but I think that women have to lower their standards. Would you repeat that? I think that women have to lower their standards. Copy that. Your benevolent Grace Lord Destro is proud of you. It's clear by the intelligence we have gathered that many of you have put down the alluring crack pipe of simping. You have chosen the ideology of free tenderloin distribution. No longer will we allow fives and sixes to believe that they are dimes. No longer shall three or fours be mentioned in discussions of marriage or cohabitation. Let them only be used as disposable wet wipes and soda cups. As the creator intended, we shall all praise the low body count feminine, quote unquote pick me, for she, society's outcast, is the true unicorn. Let no man of Cobra covet a 304. We shall share them in peace like wine and bread. Hear my words very clearly. Quote unquote pick me's are a gift from the gods. 304's are a temporary dopamine release. Families. I don't need no man. I don't need no man. So I'll have conversations with my friends and they'll say things like, Oh, like, you know, I want him to make, like, at least $200,000 a year, like, at minimum. He has to be in shape. Like, I really like a guy with a six-pack. I love a guy who's, like, 6'2". I need a guy with, like, a full head of hair. Like, I can't do bald guys. Every single time you throw a new specification into what you desire, the only person that fits within the parameters of what you are looking for exists in your fucking dreams. No, I've had girlfriends tell me, like, Oh my god, no, he's great, this and that, like, but I can't do a short king. She's spitting some game out there. A large number of women are spitting this type of game now. But yet, you have modern uh, feminist 99 cent mop bucket pirates that try to come for women like this. They come for women like her. Why? Because she's spitting the truth. She's telling it. And as long as 
large number of modern women keep that mindset, their ass is going to stay by their damn self and they're going to get passed up. You found a guy that's, like, not bad looking, has a great job with benefits, like, financially stable, comes from a great family, and you can't do it because his legs aren't long enough? Like, you bitches are out of your minds.